What's going on, Crimson Nation, and welcome back to another episode of your Harvard Top Plays of the Week. I'm your host, Connor Coyne, and we've got a great episode for you. I get to have a conversation with junior softball player Maddie Mays. Her and her team just finished up a whole weekend sweep against Penn, but we're going to kick it off, starting with number six, women's lacrosse. After controlling the opening draw against Coastal Carolina, senior captain Shay Jenkins would grab the ball, run it 40 yards up the middle of the field, fire to the back of the net within 12 wow. seconds of the game to score her first career Harvard goal in her 42nd game. The Crimson would go on to beat Coastal Carolina 12 to 10. Coming in number five, men's track and field. The 4x100 relay team of Colin Fallen, Lance Ward, Jay Shella Champon, and Jonas Clark won the Houston Spring Break meet with the fastest time in Harvard history with 40 seconds, 19 milliseconds. Coming in at number four, softball. In the first game of a three-game series against Penn, junior Maddie May sent a two-run single up the middle into the center field, driving home Tegan Shaw and Lauren Baboski. Baboski narrowly evaded the tag at the plate, helping the Crimson score and eventually leading to a full-on sweep against the Penn Quakers. Let's go here from Maddie's side right now. I'm here with Maddie Mays, junior on the softball team. Maddie, your two-run single against Penn is actually on this week's top place of the week, so kind of talk to me about that moment in the game. Yeah, I mean, we just wanted to come out and t attack the ball. We had some good momentum going throughout that inning, and getting those runs early on really helped us out and carried us through the rest of the game. So something we've been working on, and yeah, we were able to execute that. So. Now, this was a big weekend for you guys. This was a sweep over Penn, mm -hmm. which kicked off conference play. How do you guys carry that momentum with you for the rest mm -hmm. of conference? Yeah, I mean, that was the best way we could have wished to start. Um, definitely want to take that momentum into every series and sweep everybody, obviously that's the goal, um, but just fighting each inning, each at bat, each game, and making sure that we can take that through the entirety of the season and hopefully finish strong. I love that. Yeah. All right, Maddie, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate yep. it. Perfect, thank you. Coming in at number three, men's lacrosse. Late in overtime against Brown, Teddy Malone found himself with the ball, dumping a no-look pass over to Sam King. And Sam King decides to go five-hole on the Brown goalie, leading to the Crimson victory. Let's go, King. Coming in at number two, men's ice hockey. In an OT thriller in the ECAC semifinal against the Cornell Big Red, Joe Miller found a pass from Alex LaFerriere, who skated down the left wing before finding an open Baker Shore for a little tic-tac-toe action before LaFerriere finds the back of an open net. Sends the boys out to the ice, big Selly for the win, Crimson advance. Coming in at number one, women's basketball. As part of a historic triple-double, Harmony Turner hit 13 assists in the first three quarters of play against Towson and finished with 21 points. She's the first Harvard Crimson player ever to have a triple-double with 20 or more points. And that's it for this week's Harvard Top Plays of the Week. I'm your host, Connor Coyne. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We're there. And you know the drill. Go Crimson.